Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Arc Lords Envy, our Pathfinder playtest second edition. Gentlemen, just saying, cue the DMs dice drop. They can't all be gems. And every other cut phrase saying for t-shirt other than that one, Matt, will be said tonight. When left, we left our Pathfinders. They were at a party. They were smooching. They were getting drunk enough to act like lampshades, even though none of them really were drinking. There's an old man dating an orphan. There's a whole bunch of stereotypes, racism, and a whole bunch of <clears throat> sexual preference jokes going around that we usually stray away from. Politics galore. This really is the sort of dumping ground of Rollmongers Network right now as we waddle our way unprepared, unrefined through second edition play tests. But hey, at least we tried. <laughs> and we're getting to the end. Marisil. Yes collecting the party give them the eyes Arl's position in the center of the room the golems taking away the impaled footman <laughs> so once again we have squeeze attention you congregate with old man Arif master Arif the cloistered cleric of Phrasma with Adima the blacksmith's son wizard of no renown Cain the wandering sorcerer arctic elf ancestry and inclined to, well, help his common fellow man because he just jumped right into a combat, threw around some big spells, interrogated a stranger, and now he's at a high society party. I mean, for a backpacking weekend, he's doing all right. Arles, the paladin of Imode. We don't know where he's from. You can't even look at him directly. The, the armor's so shiny. And Squee, the mighty goblin warrior who we've constantly played for i don't think joe has actually got a line in since the first time we played we just kind of play his character for him especially me i do apologize i'll leave it to you what are you guys discussing i believe you're sharing information what we've learned the little sausages on sticks are terrible i know that i can tell you that there's no rolling your dc for that <laughs> the hors d'oeuvres the are, hors d'oeuvres are bad. terrible <clears throat> well don't take the tray away i'm still eating them <laughs> um so once everybody gathers around mara seals like gentlemen I heard the most interesting tidbit of information. Go on. The Ark Lord Nagasi was heard bragging earlier in being in possession of of the manual that we were charged to seek out. The same Nagasi who runs the flesh work. The same Nagasi who was allegedly hired by the sniper to assassinate us. Do you remember her last name? No. Nagasi Nagasi. <laughs> Intelligence check. Sure. How smart is Mariseal? Actually, it She's wasn't Mariseal not... who got the, the whole name. It was Squee. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> We're great. Squee. Wow. Okay. My man, if there was ever a time for you to roll high. <laughs> Pony, Pony now, now is the time. <laughs> you sure you want me to roll this? <laughs> Spins the chamber, yeah. puts a gun to his head. <laughs> there it is. There, that's the other thing. Yeah, the other <laughs> oh, oh! It was nailed it. Squeeze does first. not. Nagasi, Nagasi sounds good. Sure you do. No, no, it's Nagasi. The name of that place. Fleshworks, <laughs> Disneyland. <laughs> like Echinus, Fl the Flesh Forge. Yeah, Nagasi Flesh Forge. <laughs> just suddenly, just subliminally, Bob constantly driving that. into the paladin's brain. Echinus. Sure. That's right. <laughs> Old Yeller agrees with me. So, um, that's my nice way of saying, shut that dog up or I'll shoot it. Because Yeller died at the end of the movie. No, I'm just kidding. Pets, sirens, because they're coming to arrest Jared Mercer, and other things. Just, you know, these are the chances you take in a virtual podcast. It's not like we could mute our mics or anything. So, moving on. And that gesture, Mr. Wit, will never make it to video. Thank you very much. Big B or not, I don't care if you're friends with Big B. <laughs> so... Sorry, pray continue your conversation, gentlemen. So she perpetuates that she has the book. Well, that's what I heard from the circus I was listening into. Did anybody else hear anything of note this evening that could back up these claims? Well, I think all I've managed to understand is that the Kellish translation for that thing is skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Pointing at the back of a large olfin man. That dress? Uh, yeah, I was I was waiting yes. for like Frank to do a big rant about like all the social gossip, <laughs> just tying it all in. I, I I would love to, but unfortunately I didn't think of that. I'm just taken aback by the dress the man was wearing. A man wearing a dress says the old guy in a robe that looks like a dress. 
This is why I talk over my players, ladies and gentlemen, because I leave them alone for 30 seconds and they're all staring at me. Moo. Go on, role play. Go on. Uh, uh, Lovey and I can't wait to hear what you say next. Now well, all the party goers are like eavesdropping on you. Go, oh, it's a new circle of <laughs> gossip. And they're all like, one's got a lampshade on his head, you know. And they're all like trying to look innocent, hanging in on your every thought. Has Shh, be quiet, managed... Stephen. We're listening. It, has anyone heard where this Nagasi <clears throat> may have been? Well, I'm sure we could find out. They should be here somewhere. Yes, Marisol, earlier on, someone said that she was actually here at this party now, and earlier this evening was bragging about having the book. That's what I said. Hmm. So at least she was here earlier. I mean... If she's here now... We could always ask where around she where she is. Wait. We could. I have a friend. Steve! He <laughs> he picked me! Fuck you, Adam! <laughs> yes? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that Lady Nearsil is actually here in the building. Lady who? Nearsil. No, wait, she's here. No, my bad. Nagasi. Nagasi Nagasi of the Flesh Crafters. Oh, honey, you need another drink. <laughs> I'm not even going to roll intelligence check. You're just so pretty there, Joey. <laughs> just gives you a drink. I get this all the time. <clears throat> yep. Steve leads the paladin away past the crying Adam. Next. Kane, you, uh, we've lost him for a bit. Uh. What do you got, Kane? I, I guess I, I would go back to the group of people that I was talking to and ask them if they knew where Lady Nagasi had gone. That's a good question. Why, yes, I believe I saw her fleeing to the garden, perhaps to prepare a whole bunch of combat spells. Hmm. That's just a theory, but I'm sure the GM has given her lots of time. Oh, don't worry, he's probably skipped an earlier encounter or two. Okay, then. Uh, Knowing that information, I will walk back to the group and tell him. <laughs> Matt's just losing his shit over there. Uh, he loves it when I break the fourth wall with NPCs. Right, so... <laughs> Love she, it, uh... she went out to the gardens. <laughs> it's an educated crowd, man. They can... uh, apparently she was fleeing. I'm sure why. Yeah. Drawing up her cloak over her eyebrows, saying, "Ye gods, they're on to me!" and went out to the north side of the hall, into the hall filled with statues. Don't worry, they won't animate. The DM's getting bored, and into the garden beyond, preparing spells, most like. Jiggers, man, it's the fuzz. No, wait, she was busy selecting her boss theme music. Dun dun hush. dun dun. <laughs> Steve says, "Hush now, Liam. Just stand there and look pretty." Um, Kane, Adam, you come Steve, back to the party yeah. and uh, let them in on yeah, this? Yeah, I just said that I did. Oh, okay, sorry, because I'd love it if you just go it alone. <laughs> the Pathfinder Society will reward me! <laughs> hey, Willems takes it on alone. Well, if we it, if if she's gone to the gardens, we should uh, we should go have a look. Yes? Why, well, yes. And Old Man Arif will start to pick his way through the crowd towards the, uh, the doors that lead off to the garden. Follow in suit. Thank you, Frank. Man of action. That's why I like you on my podcast. Well, it is, you know, lead with the feeble, I always say. <laughs> how, <laughs> how, how big is early, this Arlf? Cannon fodder first. <laughs> no, Fra Frank, how big is Arlf? Or is he like the small, like almost hobbit size? How big is Arif, you mean? Yeah. Oh, he's like, you know, stooped with age. <laughs> so uh, am I thinking like Emperor's New Groove, old man? Uh, well, not that old. Okay. No, that was pretty, the guy with the stick in the coupons earlier. That's exactly yeah. the guy. <laughs> the guy with the coupons of the brothel. I have a coupon. It's Tuesday. It's not it's Thursday. I know that. It's a green stamp. Ooh. Okay. That was good. Thanks, Frank. All right. <laughs> Validating my joke. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Okay. So where do we, there we are. Um, yep. Okay. So changing maps. You guys are still in a polished marble floor. But because it's a generic map, I love how muddy and dirty they be. Like they, they, you just said how great the sh floor shines, and the marble floor they conjure up in this generic map is muddy and crappy looking, which I just think is great. But hey, reusable maps, all right. But if you subscribe to Premium Plus Plus Plus, you get access to new tile sets. Yeah. The polished marble floor in this 15 foot wide hallway shines almost like a mirror, except where the mud is. Artful mosaics of Gurundi landmarks line the southern wall, while marble statues of soldiers wearing distinctive splint mail stand proudly in alcoves along the northern wall. The faint scent of <laughs> clematis. <laughs> clematis? Oh, man. It's flower, Clemet Jeff. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> exactly. I'm going where Frank's going on this. No, say bless you. Clematis. 
Okay. The fresh scent of Mott's Clamato and the sound of trickling water drifts, because that's not quite as corny or as rude, in through the carved stone latticework and wide open archway set in the center of the north wall here. Also, they don't mention windows, but I've lit up the whole map because you guys were mere standing. There's enough access and windows and light. Even though it's evening, even the garden is lit up. Um, <clears throat> we lovely can garden. see them. That's right. Lovely, lovely garden. What do we do? Let's look send. around. With User our peeps. insightful Looking perception. around where you are, the polished marble floor on this 15-foot-wide hallway okay, shines well, almost like... <laughs> we, will, we will move through the hallway, or I will move through If you guys want to make perception hallway. checks here, in case you miss something, please go ahead. Okay. I don't know. Then roll raw. And have the gods of Galarian have mercy on your soul. Uh, 24 in perception. <laughs> I got a 21. There's little little signs on the statues that say out of order. Interesting. No, I'm just kidding. They all animate an attack. Roll for initiative. Uh, what? A what now? What, what? Ooh. Snazzy. Dun, 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 now, where the blazes is my initiative? As soon as you guys begin advancing towards the doorway, where I'll freeze you in time right where your minis are right now, with some of you advancing. Hey, <laughs> stop advancing. Stop it. <laughs> Get back there. I froze time. Get your ass back there. Frick is Thank my you. initiative on this character sheet. Uh, it's, it's at top, the right below your very name. Very top. Really? To the right of your ability scores. Yeah. Oh, not the built-in character sheet but the actual oh the physical yeah yeah the metaphysical oh. world old man Arif got a 17 look at me I'm spry <laughs> <laughs> I can do it and he bolts through the garden and leaves you guys to fight the statues right <laughs> bye bye <laughs> yeah no See runs back ya. through the doors and slams them shut behind him screw you hippies no I believe you guys were making perception checks to because there's no initiative in this. We uh-huh. go off of the last skill used, right? Uh-huh. uh-huh. uh-huh that's... I remember yeah, now. It's like, I'm like, there is no yeah, initiative. Yeah, that's... Yeah, whatever your last skill was. That's right. So if the DM called for button. perception, then it's perception. Actually, a uh, player called for perception. I'm making you stick with it, so... Ha. Huh. What, we, there you what go. did we get? 21. So add a turn. Let's add some turns to these minis here, guys. Add some turns to the miniatures. Really quickly. Did I miss anybody? Who's not on the turn Five. Uh, Arif. Five. Okay. Arif, what did you get? 17? Sorry. 17. <laughs> sure. Squee. Initiative or perception, whichever you ended up rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very unhappy about that. Yeah, I kicked his mic. Boom. Uh, Merso. Merso. 21. Uh, it's 24. Kane. Abdima. Uh, it's already on there, but 24. Okay, Errols. 21. All right. On the bad guys. 12. Perceived you. Now, where's my roll? Where's DM's roll? There it is. Two. Oh, wow. <laughs> Plus three is also five. What's your dexterity, Mr. Squee? Well, that, uh, well, that beats mine. So I'll just say uh, these guys Jay, what's four. your dexterity? So. Uh, I win. 18. 16. All right. I'll just move you up in the track there. Mine is 18 as well. Uh, but you're at 21, so there's no conflict. You're okay. Between Arles. her and Arles. Yeah. Oh. No, I don't beat the rogue for... <laughs> one would hope. Yeah. <laughs> 25. One, what one would hope? <laughs> I, I really hope that there is... There's hope for you. All right. Current starting the round cable. Now, those of you that rolled over our initiative, which is five in your perception, see that these things suddenly turn, which is everybody. Okay? So even Arles, who's like at the door, can hear the creaking of the stone. Otherwise, I'd have you guys, you know, not met and go, give me a round of you guys proceeding before everybody calls you back, or you know what I mean? But um, you're well on your way. Corner of your eye, Arif, you see this thing turn ten feet away from you on your left. Arles is heading the door. You hear everyone's kind of like, <gasps> surprise, and begin shouting out, and scuff, you know, the scuffle and draws your attention. 
Uh, you, you might have to 180 it, but you are at the door there. And this is the moment of time that we shall pick up, starting with the top of the initiative order. Who's the best? Oh, uh, that'd be Kane. Would be one of the 24s. Yes. Monsieur Kane. Uh, indeed, Liz. If that is your real name. I'm not taking anything for... <laughs> this um, time. Right. Uh, Michelle Kane, okay. round one. Question, what does, do you do? Does casting just a oh, verbal... Like, just verbal it, casting, it. does that provoke an attack of opportunity? Uh, well, you gotta, have, you gotta have the feats to okay. actually conduct attack of then, opportunity, uh, so you should be good, unless these things have the feats. So, Kane, you're all ready to go. Abdima, you're on deck. Everyone else, mute up. And we shall burn through this one, combat faster uh, than you could right. say. One well, action, uh, I'm going to grow my claws, and then I'm going to whack the one in front of me. Okay. Now, this hallway says it's 15 feet wide, but it actually stretches left to right the width of the garden. So we're looking at a map, which is this giant garden beyond a wall, but there are right at the south end of the map where we're looking at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, about 120, 125 feet wide, but only 15 feet deep before they hit this row of statues. And there's five of them, three on the left, two on the right, and then the center's archway where we're, we've kind of like marched towards the center and then there's the line going in. Most of the party spread along the bottom. Kane on the far right of the map, on the east side, is step forward to the, we'll call him, statue, animated statue number five, and uh, grows claws whack on a kitty corner out. and takes a whack. Uh, 22 to hit. Okay. Yes. Uh, three of these, the first three dice are slashing, last one is cold. Uh, 12 damage. Okay. All right. You find that you do crack and chip, but... A rather large part of your attack seems somewhat ineffectual. The hardness of these animated stone statues make it hard to penetrate and damage them sufficiently. However, it does... Well, I'm going to say okay. it goes owie, but it does take damage. Uh, Just not as much as you'd like it to. Is there still five foot stepping? Anything else? Hmm, I'm looking at a screen stride. Okay. The, yeah, then, this, yes, this thing I'll can't use attack of opportunity to move be able next to, like, to uh, uh, whomever is striding. closest to me. Now, does the term stride replace five foot step, like the guarded step in Starfinder, or do they just call a movement striding around, and because of the attacks of opportunity being practically out the window now, no one cares, Mr. Mercer. I believe stride is one of the actions you can take. If you take a step which is the other thing, it's still an action. So most of the time, you just go ahead and take your full move action instead of just taking the five foot. Because like you said, unless they specifically have the attack of opportunity feat, they really can't do anything against you. Okay. But then Does that again, make you sense? can't do anything against me. Yep. Okay. I can see why they did this. Like attack of opportunity, people would move around a lot in, in sort of combat, but the game with the five foot squares and everything, no one ever wanted to provoke and it, it kind of seemed a bit meta where you just wouldn't do some daring things that your character would do unless you had the mobility feats. And everyone just kind of ran at each other, stopped, and did that five-foot back-and-forth thing. And I think they're trying to eliminate that. I think they're trying to get the game back to sort of a, like, let's run around and, you know, like the good old days. Anyway, uh, that's... Uh, yeah, that's three actions. That's Kane done? Okay, okay. And Abdima, you're up. Mar Maricel, you're on deck. What do you do? Okay. Don't be shy. Um, first thing I'm going Abdima. to do then. Oop. Last call sorry. to unmute First Abdima. thing I was going... Uh, sorry, I was muted and then clicked the button and suddenly was muted again. Okay, so Abdima will draw his sword and cast... Um, I'll draw his sword moving up to this way, casting True Strike as he goes and take a swing. At All right. this statue here. Sorry, ping again? At this statue oh, right here. So you're on the left side of the group and you're going for the statue number three. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sorry, and that actually rolls twice for attack because I use true strike. That was your spell? Yes. So? Uh, attack roll of 24. Okay. Yes. Then 10 damage. All right. Again, chipping of stone. Not quite as effectual as you'd like it to be, but... I Although mean, if it's of not... any concern, it is magical damage. Yes, I know. 
but hardness is hardness, and it eliminates that much damage up the front. Unless you have a way of bypassing homage. Is this a diamondite sword? Anything like that, sir? Did we remember our little silver pack that the guard gave us? Did we go and buy more? Did we go and buy more of those nifty little pack? No, we did not. The module hinted and shoved it down your throat, but did we learn? No. We just buffed our armor and went to a party. So, no sympathy for you. Next time, suppose that some NPC handing you a magical toy might foreshadow something that's coming later. Moving on. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Marisol, you're on deck. Arles, you're on deck. Marisol's your turn. Ha! More constructs. More well, souls hi. being. It is my turn. Ha ha. I draw my weapons. These statues are very rude and uncalled for, but, you know, that's what they're thinking in their heads. And this being the first round of combat, yes. I will move up here and attack this guy, who I get to treat as being flat-footed, as this is the first round of combat. Ooh, look at my immunity list. Let's go over it, shall we? Are you immune to sneak sneak attack? I'm reading the list now. I'm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different types of attack I am immune to, but (gasps) including stun, but not sneak attack. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yay. Ha ha. And, um, where is my, so drawing my weapons, my rapier, my rapier and my, uh, sap. (sighs) <sighs> attack for plus 10 please hit 13 does it hit no whiff whiff and I end my turn Arles you're up Arif you're on deck yeah more soulless construct not just constructs being an armored man yourself these statues are actually wearing armor as stated in the earlier description. But mine is better. Stone dudes wearing armor. It seems redundant. I don't get it. It's like some bad joke. So, in light of some bad joke, I draw my sword and shield and 5, 10, 15, 20, stand beside Maricel and swing at said golem. How about ye? Okay. Jared, can you pull me up a list for armor, like its hardness and, and taking damage? Yeah, what, um, yeah. Uh, that's what I was asking you. I was going to ask you about because I wasn't sure what you wanted. Uh, well, basically, these things have an AC of 20, 16 right. when their armor's broken. They have a hardness, but the armor itself takes full damage. So it's like a temporary armor class. As they whack away, right. trying no, to that's hurt what I was it, trying to figure trying out. Trying to hurt it, it's like the, 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 they <laughs> it have armor, specify. but it's like, right. they don't, no, they, but it's in the rule. So I'm looking at this, um, I'm no, I get what you're saying, because I was thinking the same thing, and I was uh, trying to figure out what to actually do with that. I'll get back to you in a second. No, it talks about the armor not being entirely in- destroyed, because it's part of the creature's construction itself. It has to take two dents, and that much I do remember. It needs two right. dents before it's actually destroyed. Yeah, or two before. But it's saying it can't be destroyed, So, the, it, but it can become dented and broken. Right. So it's so, too dense and then broken is what I right. think I was finding. So I'm assuming if they would probably something like if they beat the hardness, like the 12 damage or you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. As long no, as they're doing yeah. more than the hardness number, the armor is going to start taking different conditions. I should have actually mentioned that. Uh, I don't know if you, you calculated that. I, I know I didn't roll too great, but um, the flat footed AC is what I was attacking. Huh. Well, they're flat footed until they act, right? There right. is no flat-footed AC, though. It's no, just but there's, touch, there's and touch AC. Flat-footed is just not knowing about the attack that's oh, coming okay. after you. Okay. Yeah, which these, is a minus two. Right. Um, now these so guys are all sure. these guys are all armor, no decks. So. <laughs> okay. I, I, even if I, I no that no that's a good I point. A good point. Like so we're, we're we're trying to learn the rules and we're we're, we're willing to do a little bit of retconning here. Um, we, we kept this encounter in. Uh, as as bored and as fun that we're, we might try to like try to plow through this, we are trying to do it legitimately to show raw mongers how to go at second edition, and we'll wait till August to see and when the world new rules come out to see what we might go from there. But for right now, while our intern is you know no longer making coffee and looking up some dented stuff, moving down our list. Um, sorry, Arles, what happened there? Blue the roll? Yeah, I got a thirteen. That no, doesn't. Sorry, hit. no, that's all right. Arif, now we had a little trouble with your spell sheet here. You've lost your spells. Okay, good. Huzzah! No, we get it. 
Oh, hang on. Sorry. Was Arl's done? You took a whack? Well, no, I just, I'm trying to remember now. So does drawing take a uh, action? Yep. So is readying your shield. Okay. Well, you like using your shield, right? To your AC? Yeah. Like, that's what I mean by readying it. If, if you ready your shield, that means it's ready for combat as opposed to just having it out. So moving, drawing, attacking. That's three actions, right? I... I believe so. Matt, you're muted. Sorry. Sorry. Move and draw can be in the same action. So you can move while you're and draw while you're moving. Right. Attack yeah. but ready- and then use your last action to ready your shield for defense. Yeah, the shield is sort of a secondary action because it's like a secondary arm. Yeah. So. Okay, no, I, I'm just we're trying to refresh my own memory. Now, did you, did you want to get that shield up? I uh, Sure. Yes. Okay. Well, just say so you have a last action. You can ready your shield, then- which we just assumed. Okay. Aha. Thank you. Arif. Ooh. I've got your answer when you're ready. Yep, we'll come back to it. Aye, aye, Captain. Yes. Roll some damage and we'll see. And if I tell you they, they catch easily or burn longer than your average bear or armor-wearing construct, you'll know. You'll know for sure. Test your results through theory. Okay. <laughs> He's his own video game encouragement. Every time you say something like that, you sound like, oh, that's excellent, excellent. Um, and this is this is a ray? Okay. Reflects some of the ambient light, like a certain halfling we know with a certain dinner tray, and just, yeah, right in the face. Okay. And, sorry, can you ping the one that you were reflecting upon? Okay. Um, Assuming they still kind of have that open square, like the back corner of yours, or edge of your square to edge of his, with it, which is clear, so I don't think he really has cover. Okay, so you're good. All right. All right. And 17, you say. All right. All right. Very good. Yes. He burn, burn, burns. And attack that guy. Burning. With the big points being accounted by myself. Moving on to Squee. And then the statues. And the end of the round. Okay. So moving up. A 23. In place of Arif. Arif moved back. Is it hit? Adima's third statue. And ready for the the big damage. (laughs) The party is split into two and is concentrating their attacks on the statues closest to the archway. Uh, plus four. Sorry. So a total of five. Oh, so close. Yes. Yep. If you please. Yeah. (laughs) Run away. (laughs) No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Nope, I'm good. Oh, I'll walk again. Double fist it. Come slamming down on that toe and ting. Nothing. Try again. Not even a dent. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, well, you have action left. You move up, you whack, you're going to get out of there? Nope. It's okay. negative five, then negative ten. Yeah, negative five. <clears throat> uh, so that'd be a big whopping 20 total. Yeah. yeah. Let's try this once. Let's try this once again. Now, are both at negative five? Do you have to proclaim? For eight. Eight. Yes. Yeah. Feel Just the reaper. Gets it under there. Go ahead. <laughs> Your feet are mine. <clears throat> a little d4 ah does the the ding and just 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 a scratch but technically that counts that counts as damage not a lot finished. but there it <laughs> finished that's awesome anything else sir you're done that's you yes finished speak thank you I can't see you all nodding is kind of not very good in a podcast the armor wearing animated statues move to attack one comes up on Kane one turns on Maricel one turns on Squee one moves up to Abdima and the guy in the back here let me just double check where's my movement <laughs> where is my movement I don't see it flies across the room ah here we are that's what I thought 20 feet so he goes 10 20 and then he goes 5, 10, 15, 20 as a second, and then moves up and goes right past All you. fighters do. Hello. 5, 10, 15, 20, and is on the way to hit Arif. Hey, I like this no attack of opportunity. Oh, my. From who? Yay, attack of opportunity from me. <laughs> oh, you have it. You have the feet, do you? I am a fighter. I ran by the one guy that has the freaking feet. Well, that, that serves me right. <laughs> Go ahead. Do your work. <clears throat> That's roll one. Yay. No, not yay. Critical fail. I know. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. That's my second it. one. Critical fail. Critical fail. Oh, you know, I don't even remember the list of options. Isn't there... I get to make up crazy things. Dropping a weapon, it goes flying. Striking at this moving stone object, the vibrations in your sword. Well, it's kind of embarrassing that you, you know, dropped it last time. Being a blacksmith's son, you think you'd be used to striking iron. So I'm going to say that you hit it, and coming down on a cleaving, the splint mail, I believe they said they, they wore, it gets caught in the armor okay. and gets wrestled from your hand, and he drags it away uh, from you. Okay. And there right. goes your sword. Critical fail. Round two. Kane, you're up. Abdima, you're on deck. Uh, Jared, can you I'm pull up the critical this fail and hit times. suggestions? I don't feel like being mean enough. Kane, what do yeah, you do? Yeah, I can pull up the critical fail and hit suggestions uh, for first one what is fists? a 19. No, for swords. You know, like for swords. Okay, attacks. yeah, 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 yeah. Second one is a 23. And I just want to know I'm on par here. Uh, negative four, actually, due to my claws being, I believe it's oh. agile weapons. And then last one's at a plus three. Ooh, natural one. Now, is that negative five? Are you doing the... But the first two get to go off. Yeah, so I see you get like an eight plus 11 is 19. Oh, I don't hit him at Next a 19. Next one will be plus seven. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Natural one. Oh, dig up that list, Jared. What do we got? Working on it. All right. Uh, Remember, right. Uh, first and three you hit him slashing, last the second one hit. So, dumb up. Nope. So, you 17 not. damage. Not until you start denting that armor. Indeed. Oh, look at all those fours. You should be happy. Look at that. Four, 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 one. It's like max damage. That's insanely good. Indeed. So, do you want Jared, the Pathfinder point one point oh or the two point oh critical fail? Because well, they're completely want, different things. First, I want the denting rules for the armor for two point oh. Okay, dents. If you're doing it, okay, for the statues, it gives the statues a hardness. If you're right. doing the, if you want to give their armor a hardness, then it would be double what their hardness is. So they would have to bypass that armor. With a maximum uh, twice. Let's go back and look. And then it would be broken, and then they 12. would just have yeah. the natural armor of the statues to okay. earn natural hardness. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay, so I believe your initial damage was what in the first time around? Do you remember? Okay, so the first one does not bypass the double. The second one does. So now this thing is dented, and you got to do it again to get it broken with some super damage. Okay. So... I take the hardness out of your 17. You still do a very good hit there, Chamberlain. I'm going to reduce its hit points a little way bit. And you notice that you are damaging the armor. And that's a good thing. Okay? And I will peg this guy with like, you know, he's got two dents left. Or sorry, two two dents total. And he's got like, you know, one left. Because it's dent and then broken, right, Jared? Uh, for stone, it's dent, dent, then broken. It's not stone, it's uh, armor, like actual armor. Well then, yeah, then it would just be one dent and then broken. Now, it says it's part of the construct. That's what I mean. It depends on how you want to to deal I'm with a, this. I'm assuming it's, like I said, it says the construct's armor cannot be entirely destroyed since it's part of the creature's, creature's construction. So that's then stone they would have armor. to dent it twice, and then it would be the lower armor class total. Right. That's how that's I would do I it. Exactly. Well, I'm not interested in how you would do it. I'm interested in you looking up rules for me, and I'll decide. But thank you, Jared. I'm just go make, throwing go make that out coffee. there. Just go make me coffee. It's <laughs> it's past 9 o'clock. I don't make coffee past 9 o'clock. Sorry, sir. Union rules. Oh, jeez. Where did we get you? What are you going to attempt? Okay. Um, so, Kane, a flurry of slashes, some results that you might want to share. And moving on to Abdima. But before we do, Jared, the 2.0. 1.0 is dead to us tonight. Okay. 2.0 critical examples for critical hits and fails. Well, there's only critical hits for weapons. Critical fails just means you really don't hit anything. They okay, don't so do what, anything what the, special. They, they don't, don't do anything don't. special unless it specifically states for the, like the spell. That's the only time that it would actually affect anything. Well, there's there's missing and then there's like missing beyond 10, which is a critical fail and they talked about getting, you know, inventive. Well, if you want inventive, then it would just be he would take the damage of his weapon. Well, that's just mean. 
I've, I've I'm stri- <laughs> stripping, stripping. Okay, stop striding. It's your just your basic okay. move action. <laughs> uh, answer the question. Okay, oh, thank you. Step. I'm not sure. Um, so Abdima, it's your turn. You're swordless. What do you do? Okay, quick question. What does yes. um, we were talking about stride and step? What's the difference between those two? <laughs> Step is if you're worried that the creature has a reaction ability that they can use against you. If you step, then you don't initiate a reaction. So, like for you, you have um, attack of opportunity. If he had stepped around you, it would not instigate a reaction, which I believe attack of opportunity is. Yeah, so it's burning a move action to take that five-foot step. Right, because the steps have to be exactly. five foot increments, don't they? <laughs> yes. Okay, so either or a way, the stride is your sounds full. Sounds very similar. They just worded it differently. <laughs> either way, it is. A, it is still a move action, or an action. If I yes. want to go get it. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm going to do something a little fun. What's fun? Uh, I'm going to cast shocking grasp. Ooh. Which does extra damage if I grab something metal and then go grab my sword. Okay. <laughs> okay. So closest thing that's metal to you is squeeze pick. I'm going to go over here. Okay. That's not what you said. You said you cast a spell. Grab something metal. Yes, I cast my spell and go get my sword. Okay, I'm confused. Are you stepping first or are you casting first? The order doesn't really matter. I'm casting and then I can go deliver my touch attack. It always always does. What if I have attack of opportunity against your spell? Then take your attack of opportunity. I just want to know which one you're doing first. Spill in order of I'm, execution. Okay, fine. I am f- stepping back. Yes. And then I will cast Shocking Grasp. Yes. Okay. And then you will retrieve your sword, because that's a move action to pick it up off the ground. I am casting Shocking Grasp onto my sword, which is connected to the cre- or connected oh, to the construct. Oh, it's stuck on the guy. Yes. I gotcha. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Very creative. I like it. Okay. Do that. Um, okay. I get a plus one circumstance bonus on my attack roll, and this is just a touch attack. Very cool. And the touch AC is... What'd you get? I'm not sure. Hold on. One... I am trying Marcel, to find, figure out what my bonus to hit for that would be. Let's keep this rolling. While he's while he's going, Marisol, what do you want to do? Jay, give me that roll when it pops up and the damage. I'm going to un- unload full attacks onto Mr. Dude right there. Okay. The guy who's right beside me. Roll, Rick, a roll. And Abdima, give me those rolls as soon as you have them figured out. And while these rolls are coming up, and I'll come back to them, move things along even a quicker pace. Arls, what do you wish to do? Um, I wish to move. Just to take a quick little step there to the side and carry on, uh, lift my shield up again and yep. make a swing at the one that I was attacking in the first place. Which was which one? The one Marisol's north. The one north. Yeah, Kings. the one the Marisol's on. Okay, go. As well. Coming all the way back to Jay. Abdima, have you got those rolls up? I am just finding out the actual additions are. Marisol, what have you got for me? Uh, uh, first attack was a total of 17. Nope. Second attack was a total of uh, 21. Yes. Sweet. So I need 2d6 plus 4 damage. And your third attack of 11 is also a no. Okay. Um, or was that you? Or was that somebody else? Oops, wrong dice. <sighs> <laughs> 20 damage! So, um, what did I get? 5 and 2 is 7 plus 4, so 11 damage. Okay. 11 on the fresh guy. And that's all I got. I can help with the... Oh, you figured it out. Okay. Okay, so Jay. Yes. Touch spell, shocking grasp. Um, attack roll of 26. Yes, sir. Okay. So then you take... Feel free, if I suspend you guys in animation, feel free to get all the rolls done, and then I'll just quickly come back and retcon and go bum 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 re-explaining, you know. Fair enough. I'd only just come up with this idea. That's fine. Please come up with the damage. One on the d12. Yeah. Plus four so is... Five points of damage, and you also take one d6 points of persistent electricity damage. Persistent? How so? Uh, persistent. Is that because it's persistent in the sword? No, it's the spell. Oh, okay. Now, did you say something metal amplifies it? Uh, yes, that was in my attack roll. It's easier to hit something metal. Oh, I see. Making it a touch AC. 
Uh, no, it's, al- it's always a touch attack. It's just easier to touch things that are metal because electricity conducts. So it gives you, what, a plus two or something? Uh, if the one. target is wearing metal armor or is made of metal, you gain a plus one circumstance bonus to your attack roll when shocking grasp, uh, when shocking grasping. Got it. Got it. Okay. So Abdima shocks using the sword, using the disadvantage to his advantage. Nicely done. Maricel getting two or one out of three hits and finally damaging this one here, bringing us to Arl's shield up. Did what? Moved, swung, and a, got an attack roll of 27. Okay, yes, hit. 15 damage. All right. Minus my hardness. And you damage the armor, giving me a solid hit on that as well, sir. Does it have a glowing red spot on it now? Damn it. Sorry, no. Sorry, what was your damage? My damage was 15. All right. Marisol. Um... Whacked away, Arl's whacked away. Any other actions, Arl's? Uh, shield up, nope. one whack. Yeah, move, shield, that and that was all three. Okay. Arif, you are up. Squee, you're on deck. Arif, what do you want to do? Okay. Okay. And while he's looking that up, Squee, what do you want to do? Sure, go ahead. Okay. I attack. Gotcha. Swing, Remind swing, me of that Because the guy's coming right at you. 24. Right before you, like, you know got a guy closing, oh, and then all of a sudden he got oh, shot uh... and... Uh, second the, attack. Dare I say it? Let me do my math. Matt. Oh, sorry. Sword my back. Next attack. Okay. Well, now, are you misses. supposed to not threaten it? And well, just trying to do some math here. And third attack. As long as you are not threatened or yeah, being not currently misses. attacked. You said, because that was your leading comment, was like, I'm not being attacked, so I'm. Mm-hmm. No, but I'm, put it, <clears throat> I'm putting in my penalties for taking multiple gotcha, attacks. Gotcha. Okay. So you cast, you step up. <laughs> minus five, do? minus ten. Squee. Please do. Yeah, it's all right. Yes, that hits, sir. Uh, yeah, one. I'll tell Bring you, it in a bit. Less keyboard, more you. Six. <laughs> okay. Nope. <laughs> now, the dice roller, guys, the generic dice roller remembers your old rolls. So you shouldn't have to reprogram them. If you if you pull up the dice roll and pull down. Yeah, but like I said, if you put them directly in there and then find those last rolls, you should be able to like respan them in order. I'm just saying. That should be able to save us a wee bit of time. So, Squee, how'd you do? Anything over 20? And you got... Ting! Boy, this this is not your day. Sorry. Our turn! Ha ha! All right. Starting with the one that is... Whoop, I've lost my screen. Where'd it go? Here we go. Starting with the one that is, well, Squee's guy. Everybody moved into position, and I did nothing. I completely forgot a round of attacks. Yes. So you're owed. So what I'm going to have these guys do is I will just have them and so it do begins. four <laughs> instead of their three, but I will take full penalties for the fourth. So it's sort of a half retcon <laughs> with a huge penalty. Fair enough. Everyone agree with me? Of course you do. I'm the DM. Right. Moving on. <laughs> this is sort of an apology, but not completely. Uh, where is my actual attack, though? That's the problem. There we go. Stone fist. So, going around from left to right. Squee. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> just, you're, you're, you've been cursing it with goblin luck or something, right? So its fist falls off, right? Nope. Nope. Not, not by natural weapons. Um, it, uh, <laughs> it rolls low. Okay. And it swings low. And wide, and its no. fist hits the wall, and the wall cracks, and its arm <laughs> gets kind of stuck. That was pathetic. <laughs> so it now must mo- use its second attack to remove its arm, <clears throat> making a successful strength check. Fail. It uses its third attack to try to remove its arm, <laughs> making a successful strength check. <laughs> Fail. It decides to swing at you with its other arm at full... <laughs> Negative four, like there's only like there's five and then ten. Can you? There's no such thing as like a um, fourth attack in this game anyway. So I think I'll just take the negative ten, like negative twenty. So rolling at you with a negative, and I get a twelve. Oh, lucky lucky day. Now, Adima moved. I had to move my guy a five foot step. So there's an action. So that burns, you know, previous. Let's say. And then we're going to go, we're going to dial it through the numbers again here with three more attacks. 
instead of four on a Dima. One! I swing wide and impale my arm into the other guy's armor. <laughs> well, I get caught. It doesn't hurt it because it's a miss. And I get stuck. So you got this chain of like one guy in the wall and one guy kind of like trying to swing wide and it's hitting the back of his buddy, you know, and he's just kind of in that robotic twist, out, turn, ow. A second failure. These dice are just faster, just not very hot. A third attack, again, switching to the other and just 15 plus huh. negative two is like 13 on Abdima. 13 Abdima? No? That's a no. That's a no. Then I have Old Man Arif in front of me, but you just shocked and actually damaged me very badly. So he turns on Abdima and just unloads. Now this is the guy that moves, so he doesn't get that bonus attack. And he'll go on Abdima. 17. And then minus 5. 9. And then the last one, 2. So, 17? No. Oh, so there's just a cluster of a something wiggling around the left side of the room. Let's see if the guys on the right side of the room <clears throat> fare any better. Um, who is damaging me the most, Arles or Maricel? Who's taking bigger chips out of me anyway? Are you guys just both kind of like chipping away? Um, I think I did uh, 11 damage. I've done yeah, 15. Okay, so... Um, the damage comparison is very close. It's not like 2 and 20 or something. So basically, we'll just go odd or even. Arles, call it it, buddy. <laughs> or odd or even. Odd. <laughs> okay. Matt, roll it. Any dice. Any. Odd is not Any you. dice. Yeah, even as you, odd is just pick a dice and roll it. Because here, that work way. Even. That's a you. I'm going to unload on you. Now, what about spreading out my attacks here, Jared? What about spreading out your attacks? Can I, like, get two on one and one on the other because they're both adjacent, or...? Yeah, you should yeah, be able to. but you still have to take the minus... Oh, yeah, yeah. ...ridiculous, yeah, yeah. what is it, five now? That's fine. Minus so, five, minus ten. Full attack, 17 on Maricel. I attack the golem in oh, that's, that's response. Oh, that's a complete whiff. In fact, I didn't even move. You missed of your own accord. Okay. I use retributive a simple, attack. A simple no would be fun. No, I like my description better. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Arles, you, am I provoking from you or something? What? Yes, you are. What, just by attacking? My ally. Oh, do tell. What is this power? It's retributive attack. You attack okay. an ally who's within reach of me, and you're within reach of me. I get to attack you. Oh, sweet. Okay, so I do with 17. Apparently, according to some people, I miss. So let's have yours right away. So I do take a minus two on it, but that makes it a 26 to hit. Oh, yeah. So you take 15 damage. Okay. And are enfeebled. What is enfeebled? En enfeebled. It's Jared? enfeebled one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enfeebled one just means that whatever the... I'll look up what it actually does, but it only lasts for one I'm round. Sure, I'm yeah. sure he knows. He was in the middle of explaining what it happened. No, no, I wanted to give Jared the sunlight. Here. No, no, I'm in the middle of um, secretly talking to other players while you're not paying attention. <laughs> Very good, sir. <laughs> he, takes a, he takes a minor... I'm working against you, sir. I'm working okay. against you. He, well, guess what? I'm immune to enfeeblement, so don't look it up. It's in my immunity list. But are yeah, you I don't immune have that to in front of me, so yeah. What? Do you, but do you want to know what it actually does? Nope, not unless it happens. Moving on. Save it for next time. Yes, of course. What, what would have happened? No, I, I think we're, we're burning too much time on this. However, I do attack Maris. Actually, no, I go to attack Maris till I miss. You attack, you stick a sword at me, and you do do damage. I do do. For, for 15, right? So that leaves me with... He does does. Um, this much damage, and he'll turn my next attack onto the paladin instead. So now I attack the paladin with a 18, and then attack the paladin again with a 16. Any of those get through? I know you have your shield up. That's Any minuses news. on those? I've already put them in. Uh, yeah. See the screen there? 18 ties. Yay! I'm assuming. I don't know what the shield AC is that I'm supposed to add, but... It's plus two. Or, well, yeah, it's, so it, it's, it'll be pl it should be plus two. There are def I'm different, thinking so, different so. shields. Your shield is up. What is your total AC with shield? B18. Yeah, so I do hit. Okay. So, damage. Damage, damage. damage. And while I'm rolling damage, feel free to tell us all about enfeeblement. It's fine. Don't mind it being squeezed in while I'm looking, you know, while I'm elsewhere. Minus one dollar dice rolls. 
weakened. <laughs> enfeebled always includes a value. When you are enfeebled, you take a conditional penalty equal to the enfeebled value on attack rolls, damage rolls, and strength-based checks. Okay. That's disgusting in the higher levels. Nice. Yes. Um, I literally just damaged your miniature for you're nine points of damage. Because we're tracking these minis right on screen, so you're good. Go Don't for do it. it again, or you'll get even weaker. Did I miss anyone? Oh, yep, down the bottom here. There's a guy whacking away at Kane. Kane. Yes. Any any retribution? Any? I can just swing away. <laughs> Natural <laughs> one. God, that's like three ones. A, uh. Now you understand, so, GM. There's, what there's, what there's, your players have been going through on Roll Twenty. <laughs> now you understand. I've said it once. I've said it twice. I think I've said it dozens of times. If you want to roll your real dice at home, feel free, but your camera will shoot your I mean, dice just tray instead of your pretty, take a pretty minus faces five from that. so the world can see them. At least I can see them. That is my condition. Oh. And since you all would rather look at your mugs than your dice, roll 20 is your other only option. So don't bitch. Right. Swinging. And a miss. And then a... Oh, ignore that. Sorry. Because I missed horribly. But no, no, because like I said, I had them stuck. Like he, it, it sullies like the next attack. This is usually like a standard. So I, there's no wall here. So a passing golem with a serving tray that's trying to serve you drinks or whatever, I whack it and get caught up in its, in its tray on a natural one. And I bullet it over and it actually like falls between us and becomes like harrowing. And it actually steps back, foiling its attack and has to make a dexterity check to keep itself standing. Or I get tangled, and this dexterity is at like negative two. Oh man, isn't that but funny? No, I'm good. It just kind of does the quick step backwards, and there's difficult terrain in a serving ginger golem between us. Nothing personal to a fellow. Go- it's all offended uh, that you made it hurt, sec, like a, a civilian golem. I was not planning on you being now. out Round of three, melee distance. It's Kane's turn. You getting that, that demon's you know, on, deck. on a natural Marisol one is soon really follow. funny. Look stuff up about your attacks you said it's... in advance. This is the on deck prep. You can Look whisper to now. me and ask questions. I'll help you. Fair enough. As fair well, enough. yes. Or like when you get the DM's attention, then we can talk about it live. Kane, what do you want to do? So move up. Okay, so just a regular action? Just move, move in? Okay, that's fine. I'll just swing at yes, you. Yes, but I'm also unable to attack you. That was the folly. Now, you can't enter with a step, but you can move into as a full action difficult terrain. Just stand on the ginger golem. Everybody else, it's stand on a ginger golem day. It just burns it to move in. Okay. Now, Jared, is there any penalties for, like, attacking within difficult terrain? I don't think okay. so. It's just uh, 24 burn. on the first hit, 16 yeah, on the second. Yeah, it's just movement burn. And whether it's double Unless or Unless it specifically states in the type of terrain it is, like, um, if the natural terrain actually uh, causes damage, damage when they move through it. On the first yes. hit. Spoilers. I'm not hinting it's, at anything or winking at anything. It's, 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 flailing, at, it's flailing at your ankles. Okay, yes and a no. Uh, move, attack, attack. That's it. Okay. Uh, not not great and not more damaging to the armor, but, you know, there is there is still damage getting through, and that is worth recording on my hit points. So there we go. Yep, ow. Anything else? Okay, sir. Abdima, you are up. Maricel, get ready, look shit up. Talk to Mercer on the down low. Abdima, what do you do? Okay. Um, well, quick question for you then. How would I go about pulling my sword back? You're is it an ability? That's what I was getting or? ready to ask you. Is it a class ability? Or is it a spell? Or um, what are you trying to do? I have an option. I'm just wondering if it's better than the basic I pull my sword out of the thing. What would you require for that? Stealing an item. It's on its person and you're trying to steal an item like the old days. Because I had it entangled in the guy's stuff. Which means it's kind of attached now. So at the very least a strength check as you try to pull it out with a basic D- personal DC against the golem. At worst, we get into Jarrett looking up a bunch of like, stealing an item from a person rule. Yeah. Okay, well, it's in like that 25. case then, um, I would like to... All I have to be able to do, because I have an ability called Hand of the Apprentice. Oh, Bas- it's also turned around to face you now too, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I would go with the harder one. I would go with the stealing an item because it's now it's on my back, which is facing Aerith. So what have you got? Hand of the Apprentice? Yes, Hand of the Apprentice. It's an ability, uh, basically it's a wizard thing. Where as long as, um, where basically it worded that I hurl my melee weapon at the target, making a ranged strike using proficiency. Um, my word, my think, my thought process is if I can grab it, it's um, and then fail to throw it, 
whether this attack uh, succeeds or fails, the weapon returns to my hand. Okay. So like the ability is based on you attacking something, not you screwing up and getting it stuck. Yeah. So what I, I want you to do is, trick would be to go okay. grab So it. what I want you to do is I want you to use this ability and just sort of focus and go, eh! you know, give me a successful attack roll, which obviously isn't going to do anything, but it will focus your ability on the sword as if you'd thrown it, and then I'll let it come back to you with a strength check. Cool. Okay. Way better than 25. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, okay. Then I'll do so that. Just, so just do a successful attack, you know. 25 would hit, yep. And then hoping it will return, and you're using the force, trying to get it out of that snowbank. Give me a strength check based on your magic, so you'd be adding your ability modifier for your magic, not your strength. Um, this, so what's your, the, what are the your ability arcane? that I'm using, right? Yeah, like is it intelligence? What is it? It's Actually, it does use my... Um, basically, you hurl melee weapon, yada, 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 uh, using your proficiency with the weapon or with spells, whichever's worse. They're the same. Uh, add your spellcasting ability modifier to damage rather than your strength modifier. They're actually also the same. So that damage roll is my is with that. Did you want me to roll 1d20 plus 4? It specifically states whether the attack succeeds or, or fails, fails, the, the weapon, weapon comes back flies to back to, your, to you and returns to your hand. True, but he didn't attack with it. We're kind of thinking out of the box here where it got stuck on a critical fail. So I want something. So like I said, oh, this is using okay. magic. I get what you're asking. It, I appreciate the full description and even Jarrett cutting in to help me, but really it was a simple question. What does it use? If you're using magic, then you should use your actual magical modifier. I know the spell says your best one out of the two, but you are using magic to try and pull it. So I want the magic one that has okay. been requested. Um, that's, do you want another attack roll then? No, you said it comes back to you, right? Correct. Right. I want a strength check using the same ability modifier that your arcane runs off of. If you're a cleric, it's wisdom. If you're a arcane, it's either charisma or intelligence, generally. So roll a d20, add your intelligence modifier, plus your proficiency in your given field. For a strength check. For a strength check, basically. There's That's what he's asking. Yes. yes. Common is fun. <laughs> okay. I'm just breaking it down I'm very to numbers. The reason i is because it's base... It's... <laughs> he's tra- he speaks J better than I do, so I'm just going with it. Okay. And the, I wouldn't this, have thought of proficiency, so he's giving you an edge there. It's the same roll. Um, here's another one. 12 this time. Not the point, Tamlin. I don't understand <laughs> why I need it, what, what's going on here, but yes, that's what I rolled. 12. Okay. Basically. Email us at rollmongers.com. <laughs> a strength check is basically like a 10 or 15 to like oomph something, right? Okay, so that's... We're using magical Okay, I think oomph. I understand what you're talking about. I just want a different ability. Like in a very simple use process. That... You guys are complicating a very simple DM request. In order to use that ability... 12 is success and moving on. Okay. Please, God. Then Please I would like on. to attack. <laughs> then I would like to attack. <clears throat> because that is two actions. Because you have a sword. Yes. Okay. Two actions, and that was a magical ability. So my magical weapon trait thing atta- uh, activates. And which guy? Uh, the guy that I just attacked the last round and grabbed the sword out. The of. shocking sword guy. Okay. Yes. That's between 30. you. Thirty. Oh, so close. Now that's a critical. Threat. That was a natural twenty. Yeah. You got to confirm in this. I can't no. remember. No. No. Okay. So getting his sword back with a whole bunch of over explaining. <sighs> what are we doing with it? We're just damaging. Damaging. It's it base damage times double? two. Yeah, it gave you it gave you two d twelve already. Yes, it gave me two d twelve, and then it's a crit. I two d twelve is the crit. No, two d twelve is the base magical damage. You do two d twelve with this sword when you just whack stuff. What is your sword's crit? normal damage? Hang on, Jared. It's a bastard yeah. sword. It's versatile. So two hands is one is one d twelve. It's currently also magical, so it's two d twelve. Oh, the magic Potency. it's magically enhanced, and they just give you another dice yeah. of damage. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't automatically do roll the crit. That's what the button's for, which gave you a natural one in crit damage. And a two. And a two for seven. So a total of 29. Is that what I'm seeing? That's what you're seeing. Wonderful. Good hit, Chamberlain. No one's hit me yet. (laughs) I did. No. Oh, well, there was the... I don't have any damage off. What did you do with the shock and grasp? That was... um... You took five. Di- you took five persistent electricity damage just this round, actually. By the way, but yeah, let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, because I have all night. Okay, so the very beginning with my attack, I did five damage, electricity okay. damage, and then at the beginning of the round when you made your attack, you took one d six persistent electricity damage, which I rolled earlier was a five as well. 
Right. Which is nothing, because I have a hardness of seven. And believe it or not, that trumps, unless it says hardness versus adamity or magic or anything else, straight up hardness trumps everything, including magic, unless they've changed that in second ed, Mercer. No, it's, think of it like the old 3.5 damage reduction. The hardness gets removed from the damage before damage is quantified. Exactly. Even, but even it's two if it's different, different types type? of energies. No, they're, they're right? both electricity type. Oh, so it was 10. Yeah, they're All both. In one, was it a single blow? Uh, well, the first blow, the blow did uh, did five, and then the persistent did yeah, five. Yeah, they were separate calculations, then neither of them beat his hardness. Exactly. Because the sword goes in. No, it was just shock and grasp. What's persistent the calculation? is cell separate before, at the beginning of his turn. So at the beginning of his turn, before his attack, it takes persistent damage. Now, just, just, no, no, oh, okay, oh, yes, okay, okay, here's okay. where it gets complicated. Does that stack? So does the five no, damage no. he hang, took? Hang on, but... Hang on a second, guys. Guys, please. Okay. Your attack did five points of what? Shocking? Yes, shocking. Okay. Not 2d5 or two two dice, which was a total of 10. You're hitting me with five of something. Oh, it was And then another a... five of something. That you know what I'm was saying? a d12 plus four. The, the right. initial damage was d12 plus four. Right. Which is you grabbing the sword and shocking me. Yes. And what was the second one? The persistent is 1d6. Right, which comes after. Yeah. And both were totaled five. Yes. Which does jack. That's why I have, because you've got to beat seven, because they're separate. They're considered like a separate wave of whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, however, yeah, yeah. with thought... my total, now we go persistent, which is coming later, because you said you owe me some persistent, which is how much? Um, that is. Because he does have the ability to beat the hardness. Which at this point, I think I should reveal to the bleeding out of their ears and eyes audience is seven, which is a 14 to damage the armor. With persistent Four. damage? So that does bumpkins. 1d6 all the time, so no, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, so I'm pretty good with that. Uh, but, you know, in a game, I'm supposed to go, oh, yeah, sure, you're doing great. And then the guy, hmm, well, is it really damaging? Well, it doesn't seem to from your perception. But at this point, for sake of argument, because like I said, people are screaming at their TVs right now. No. However, that 20, was it what, 29? Yeah, 29 was awesome gives me a dent which i have yet to explore and there's one left and 29 from my total I, is really really low you hit this thing very badly it literally looks like in rough shape as far as a statue that could look like suddenly look like broken up shit goes anything else Are you uh done? no that is my third action i am done okay marisil full round of attacks onto the same one that i have been attacking Thank you, Aralus. Your second well, one should be at those. a plus five. Should, should be 14, Aralus, what 10, do you wish 15. To do? Swing away. And one more straight up 1d20. So 14, 5, and 15. That didn't work, right? The dice roller lies. <laughs> yes. Sorry, no. Arles, did you say run away? He's shaking no, his head. Swing, no. swing, swing. Okay, let's 13, have 15, 4. Um, 13, 15, 4? <laughs> sorry, sorry, no. Arif, what do you want to do, buddy? Squee, you're on deck. Uh, I haven't been touched. Oh, uh, that is how many rounds I've left on my claws. Step, step around, step around, step around. Arles has taken damage. Notice the health bar that's somewhat diminished. Yeah. Swing by the oh, Sorry. And then run away. <laughs> All right. Nice. Top back up. I shall make this health so bar visible. Now can we see it? Uh, 19 misses. <laughs> Man. Well, that uh, natural one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no squealing, yeah. but no, that's fine. No, no. A bit. C con con considering how badly uh, how heated this has been getting so after like two years points. of us calmly just like, <laughs> barely ever, you know, even getting heated or whatever, yeah. I I'm oh, saying sorry, that I, uh, a little, little meta might go a long way today. A four right. here. Um, oh, Arif, you anything else from you, sir? <laughs> All right, Squee, bring it home, buddy. <laughs> we don't six have points we of don't damage, which is nothing. That was it. Three attacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has to do. He has to do the damage. It's not the hitting; it's the damage. They got to do over fourteen points of damage. So, what do you got there? Oh, this guy is hurt really badly. I think maybe I took the damage off the wrong guy. <laughs> There's no way this thing is hurt that bad. Oh, that was it. Thank you. 
which is unfortunately see how depressing it is when you that's why ladies and gentlemen when you're a dm never reveal the hardness because once they know they're just like oh you gotta give them that whiff of hope anything else there squee all right the baddies are in a good me. position Arif ran me, off me, me, me. so yep yeah i think we're just gonna stay kosher with you know with our attack pattern alpha okay only we're gonna go really really quick you guys ready for this okay I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five first attacks straight through all the combatants. So here's no one for Squee, 21. Yes, no one for Abdima, 13. Another for Abdima, 50. Oh, yeah, that's his first one. He's good. One for Arles, 22. And one for Kane. Yes. 19. Okay. Who got hit? in the first wave. I did. Okay, Squee. Let's see if I can do this, like, quickly. Takes nine points. Arles takes ten points. Yeah. Next round of swings, which are at a much, well, negative five. Okay, take that off your characters, boys. We'll suffer the consequences coming around again. One for Squee is nine. One for Abdima is eight. Another for Abdima is five. One for Arles, six. One for Kane, five. Hits across the board. So critical fails are a thing, right? Now, Jared, she is watching this combat, so your most tough, effective-looking combatants right now are Arles and Abdima. They seem to be doing the most and would probably be targets, unless these guys, or even Arif, with that big casting of a, you know, the big streaking ray nuking one of your toys. You critical right. failed you know, on me on the second one. I'd have to say that those three are, like, at the top of your list with Squee and the other one being, like, lower down. But that could change. That could change. Sorry, what were you saying? I was talking over something. So critical fails are less than 10, correct? Are, are, te- are more than 10, 10. under? Think of it as 10, yeah. Yeah, so you critical failed both times on, my atta- on attacking me. Cool get back to that um okay so um to make this easy obviously those are not like the third rounds are going to be ineffectual so there would be no round three on either one for abdima no round three on kane just leaving me with that last crappy something you know something bad is going to happen actually you know what i'll even be so nice as to say the two and abdima um they both hit each other and like you know well, I guess a one isn't enough to like damage armor because it'd have to be more than. Hmm. Um, sorry. Uh, Squee, 17. And Arles, 10. Negatory. Negatory. One last squeal from Squee for seven points minimum damage. Okay. Now, I am going to damage Golem 1 for 13. Not a quite enough for a dent. Golem 2. For ten, not enough for a dent. They struck each other. I was going to try and do some nice, something nice where they would hit each other's armor. Their edema, if the damage was that fourteen, but no. And as for Kane, well, like I said, ineffectual. And round four, we will see you next time with happier, happier thoughts. <laughs>